<clears throat> proud of our guys. I uh, thought it was really, uh, you know, good four quarters of football and um, played a lot of guys. Uh, had a great mentality right away. Thought uh, really kind of set the tempo to hold them to a field goal there after that first turnover and then the goal line stand, probably two of my favorite series of the game. Um, that's what you want to be about. You know, you want to you want to have your back against the wall and you want to see your guys respond. And uh, but and then really uh, pleased with all the young guys uh, that got in and, and came in and played well all the way to the end. Uh, going on the roads hard and uh, coming on a short week again against a team that if they're something they're tough and uh, uh, really complemented each other well on both sides of the ball. And uh, I think our guys really had fun. You know, we work them extremely hard, demand a lot, and to see them enjoy uh, an opportunity to go out and play again was was fun to watch. And uh, BC, they do an awesome job. They had some injuries uh, on, on offense, in particular, I know, and uh, that kind of uh, you know got them out of rhythm and, and uh, things got away. And, uh, but uh, again, compliments to our guys. Just again, having a great mindset and coming on the road, and, uh, again playing with great focus and energy, toughness, all of that. So, do you feel like you got the kind of pressure on the quarterback that you were looking for? Uh, I thought so. I, you know, they do a good job up front. Um, uh, you know, they do a good job up front, um, blocking, and they, you know, going in. We knew that we were going to have to beat guys a uh, one-on-one. You know, or again, uh, a lot of times from a protection standpoint, they they had seven on four, and uh, you know that was a big emphasis for us to recognize protections and you got to be able to play coverage. They 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 max it up and run a lot of cross-country type routes and. Uh, your 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 pressure you pressure people uh, uh, or you bring people you got less guys in coverage and, and uh, so we really want to be able to uh, you know play without having to to pressure uh, particularly on early downs and uh, so we put a lot of stress on those guys up front you know as a result but they do a lot of good things uh, schematically. Uh, you know, they just not dropping back, run verticals. You know, on, on early down, so they do a good job of moving the pocket and sliding the protection. And so we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, you know, again, particularly on early downs, and then they do a good job scheme-wise on third downs. And uh, uh, you know, I don't know what the numbers say, but um, uh, I thought our guys did a really pretty good job. We let a couple of uh, backs get out of the backfield there for conversions uh, on some man calls. That, uh, we got to be better on, but uh, overall, I thought it was really pretty good. Uh, you know. What were your thoughts on on Ben's hit on tolls? Ah, uh, well, man, it's a huge play in the game. I was so thankful uh, that you know I'm thinking a game a game ahead as much as that game, and then getting the ball all of it. So uh, you know, other than the uh, again the stop, and holding him to a field goal in the first series, and then after the turnover and in, in the, in the uh, where we held him on downs there on the goal line, that that was arguably a, a, as big of a play in the game. And um, uh, again, they were kind of moving it on us uh, on our side of the field, and what a turn of events that was for us, because you know didn't know how they would call it. But uh, uh, glad that again, again, that's our quarterback, you know, on defense. So. Uh, Good. What did you see on the on the two goal line stands? The first, the first one they held him to a field goal, and then when you kept him out of the end zone. Just what did you see from your guys? Well, again, uh, again, good leverage, good alignments, uh, being ready to play, um, uh, trying to run it up the middle, not having any kind of movement at the point of attack whatsoever, and uh, uh, obviously had a couple bad snaps there within all those plays. Uh, I think they might have had a new center, but again, not you know. I'd have a hard time snapping too. You got Pagano, uh, that's you know lined up right over your Dexter. Uh, those guys, and, and uh, again, the, the heart of your defense, you know, uh, is those guys up the middle and uh, at D line, and, and uh, for them to kind of uh, make a quote unquote statement in the game, I think was huge, you know. And again, uh, I think those kind of moments are the moments when you look back on your season that are big, really big moments for you. And, uh, Trying to get better and confidence, and having been there, done that, that was a that was a big uh, turn of events there too. Is it the most the most consistent or best four quarters you guys have a team strung together so far this probably, season? Probably, all things considered, on the road, well coached team, 
uh, haven't played. Uh, it's always a tough game when we come up here. And so all that being said, probably so. Uh, and again, coming off a, an exhausting uh, game a week ago and on a short week, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we all got home 4 o'clock plus, you know, uh, last Sunday. And uh, so it wasn't an easy week. Uh, uh, ask our guys. I was tired and grumpy the whole week, man. I, I just couldn't. Man, I was I was out of whack. And uh, but uh, anyway, Did real you, proud of our guys, though. Did you see Dabo sprinting at, at halftime to catch the referee? I was he's got some speed on him. No, I didn't see <laughs> okay. that. No, yeah, he was ready. I know that he was ready. <laughs> Thanks, sir. But yeah. BC had only one play of over 20 yards tonight. Do you feel like that's an area of his defense is getting better in and not getting those Well, obviously plays? it was a big emphasis in the out of season. We've been really pretty good uh, through six games. <laughs> Again, it's just six games. We got another half of the season. So, uh, but that's been uh, we've been really good. I think we've been consistent. Preparation, the focus, the intensity, uh, you know, the discipline, you know, all that together, uh, you know. Hopefully that's the result that you get, and uh, and uh, so that's really good to see between that and kickoffs. I don't think there's two things that were uh, worked on and emphasized more in the out of season than those two things: big plays and, and, and kickoff coverage. What do you think has been the key to making sure that those big plays aren't being given up? Why did you say it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not to be rude, but I just you know again discipline, preparation, how we're practicing, their film study staying engaged all the way through our last walkthrough and meeting uh, this afternoon before we uh, got on the buses. I mean, all of it, and a good leadership, uh, and uh, trust in one another, um, experience within the scheme and the system. Uh, so, you know, again, they can play confident and sure of themselves, and that guy's not trying to do too much. Do, do coaches analyze the team halfway through the season, or is it just a week-by-week week process? Well, I think the challenge is, again, the sustaining success is so much harder than getting better or so much harder than um, handling adversity. Sustaining success is a lot harder, <laughs> a lot harder, and uh, especially when you're dealing with 18, 19, 20-year-old young men that uh, – and uh, when we got as much, you know, media that's out there and – uh, covering us and um, uh, you know sustaining success is really really hard uh, because you know when you have success you know the the tendency is to you start feeling good about yourself and everybody starts well it's all because of me and and, uh, and and lose a little bit of focus and guys are being talked about more maybe some of the seniors that are uh, you know being promoted for you know what may happen, you know, in a year from now, things like that. It's easy to lose focus. That's why it's so hard to win consistently. And, uh, you know, in all my years of experience at coaching and all the successful teams, you know, that I've been a part of, I think that's maintaining the edge and the focus and the intensity as both coaches and players is the biggest challenge there is. And uh, when, uh, when you get embarrassed or humble, you know, everybody's, you know, they're listening. And, uh, and uh, so I think uh, handling adversity is a lot easier than handling success. And so that'll be the challenge moving forward. You know, that's why you, you got so much respect for a team like Alabama, you know, that's just done it over and over and over and over. And uh, we're, we're doing our, you know, we're, I think we've established ourselves over the last five years or so uh, being a program that's right there. And I thought a year ago we kind of lost just a little bit. Uh, of that edge and that focus that we needed to, uh, I thought we tried to get to the finish line. You know, uh, everybody, oh, there's no hard games left, and y'all going, you know, be a playoff team, and, and kids believe it. You know, they believe it sometimes, and uh, and and you know, when, when they start losing again that focus and the willingness to to be coached and the willingness to. Uh, stay hungry and not be satisfied. I love that 14 defense so much because they they never got satisfied. Although I mean they were like a bunch of raving uh, piranhas, uh, pit bulls. Uh, you know, just uh, they couldn't get enough, and uh, they just had a chip on their shoulder. And regardless of what they how they played, and they played very well. Uh, you know, for that whole year, just to, what a great benchmark. And, uh, and and Coach Sweeney brought that picture up that we have a big poster board of, you know, just <coughs> it's number one defense in the country. Not that we're beating our chest, but that is the benchmark. And uh, but in and, and very talented, but there's a lot of talented teams to to have again that uh, that that hunger and uh, where again you could never uh, you know uh, 
satisfying. It's just it was awesome to see and be a part of. And um, so hopefully that's what our guys, I think they do. I, th I do think that they want it, but are they willing to work for it and fight for it? And Because uh, you're going to get what you earn. And uh, so we'll see. The history of teams making it to the title game, trying to get back next You're talking year. about title game already? <laughs> huh? If I may. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's not, the history? The history's not good. I mean, yeah. a lot of times it's hard to get back. Oh, yeah, back yeah. What's, yep, you told you me. Just, you just touched on it a lot, yep. but Alabama, Ohio State, those teams, they just keep coming back. I mean, what, yep. what, what's this program done to – well, I think, I think it starts with the leadership of Coach Sweeney. You know, man, he is relentless about trying to uh, protect it and um, uh, trying, trying to instill it. And um, I think he surrounds himself with, with, with people and players, that um, administration that, that all support that, uh, you know, that mission. And um, being inconsistent, because sometimes you, you're doing everything right, and, but you just fall short. You know, just that's part of it. But give yourself a chance, I think, is – is the commitment uh, that's there, and it starts with him and uh, with that mindset and the heartbeat of this football team, and and, uh, and then supported by you know both administration, coaches, and the players got to buy in, and he does an awesome job of engaging our guys and, and uh, uh, creating that you know that that belief, and that's that's a big part of it, and, uh, and then you got to get lucky and have good players and all that too, but uh, it is it's it's incredibly difficult. And, uh, and uh, but when you value it and you don't take it for granted, uh, again, that comes from leadership. And I think that you got a chance. Dad will mention this team's ahead of where it was a year ago this time. Is that a team wide feel? Maybe so. I think we're better in the kicking game, uh, you know, uh, in particular. And, and then on offense, defense, I think it's super comparable, uh, whatever that means. And, but I do think that we're better in our kicking game. So Can't that might be coverage. Uh, well, it's just yeah, and our you know our field goal kicker. Uh, probably, I don't know what all the numbers say, but uh, I think overall, I think we're better. And uh, you're yeah. actually number one in kick returns. Bam! See, kick kick returns or kick kick, kick, kick return off, defense. Kick kick, how about, about that? that? Yeah, see. From one fifteen. And uh, oh, that's awesome. You know, whether or not that has anything to do with the kicker or our coverage, whatever you take it, you know, we're going we're gonna to promote that one. That's good. Uh, you know, I have, don't have anything to do with it. Coach Hobby does an awesome job with that and is really, I think uh, staff-wise, we've done a good, really good job of, uh, you know, creating that sense of urgency with, with uh, all of those units. Last one, guys. Christian, give me a pick. Oh yeah, yeah. He said I could, he could have went back in. A bit? Um, I was more worried about Ben Moore getting kicked out and not being <laughs> available the next week. Uh, you know, uh, no. Yeah, I mean, you don't want anybody to get you know hurt, but uh, uh, neat for him to come to uh, kind of his homecoming, so to speak. And uh, you know, this was probably where he would have gone had he not come to Clemson. Uh, truth be known. And uh, he just really liked BC. He had a good. They did a very good job uh, developing relationships. So seeing him kind of come home, so to speak, in front of a bunch of friends and family, and coaches, and, and whatnot. To uh, he had a really good game, you know, prior to going out. So, uh, but I think he'll be fine. Thanks, Thanks coach. Thanks.